Today we're across the river from the UW Oshkosh campus here at the Biodigester where there's a lot of, well, rotting stuff. And we're going to take a sneak peek inside what's all going on and what it all looks like. Yup, this is steaming waste about to be loaded into the Biodigester. And this is a pepper. Looks yummy, doesn't it? We're here inside the Biodigester facility where they're piling up organic matter and taking it and putting it inside the belly of the beast. So, with all this rotting matter, you might be curious about where the smell's going. Well, never fear. Lava rock is here. It filters out all the stinky air before it gets sent into the atmosphere. Looks like I'm not fully prepared. I'm lacking a fedora. I'm here with Ashley. She's an environmental studies major and she's an intern at the Biodigester. So Ashley, what happens when everything goes inside these compartments? Well the compartments are the microbes home and the microbes break down organic matter and produce methane just as we produce CO2 as waste products. Okay, basically we're dumping waste into a chamber where it is superheated and sits for 28 days. This in turn creates methane. So all the methane gas that gets produced gets stored up here, inside a big balloon. But they won't let us go inside. Because we might explode! Alright, we won't actually explode. But it is a bunch of super secret technology. So after the methane swells up in its balloon, it goes to here. Where the methane comes into a generator where it's turned into heat and electricity. And that helps power the UW Oshkosh campus. Well Ashley, it's been real. Thanks for showing me around. You're welcome, Micro. I mean, back. So this is where you come in. It turns out the biodigester is really hungry. So this next semester in Reef, you're going to take your uneaten food, your pizza hut boxes, your napkins, and you're going to put them in cool looking monster receptacles. And from there, they're going to go to the biodigester, where they'll become energy. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to participate in Feed the Beast.